my 36M wife, 35F, won't accept divorce and that it's over after she had an emotional affair. Sorry but this has become so complicated to me it feels like an incredibly stressful. We've been married for a decade and things were going south before she had the emotional affair. When she did though she told me she wasn't in love with me anymore and wanted a divorce. The next day I found out about the emotional affair and spent the next couple months accepting she was right and it was done. So eventually I did what I felt I needed to do and told her I was moving out and filing separation. She completely flipped on what she wanted and now for the past couple of months I've been saying. It's too late and I'm done. She fights tooth and nail to get me back but it's just not in me and nothing I say drives it home. It's all about her wanting to try and she can't understand how I wouldn't want to no matter what I say. What on earth do I do? I've moved out for two months. Told her I'm done. I ignored her calls and when I did I got 10 calls in a row before I gave in and answered one and then the cycle started over. I'm missing the part where she has any say in this. She chose not to honor your marriage so you ended it. If answering a call restarts the cycle stop answering the calls. Just let her know you are done communicating. Anything further needs to be through your lawyer. Block her number and have her served with divorce papers. Next time don't give JN at the 11th call. Stay your ground. She doesn't have to accept it for it to happen. If it's what you feel, then just do it. You just get a lawyer and file. Unless you're in some place that needs both parties to consent just do it. Block her on everything. I'm not sure why you haven't already. File divorce and once the papars come in she'll get it. In meanwhile send her a message you that you are blocking her and anything divorce like question. She can ask through your attorney. Yeah all her plans fell apart and it's only now that she realized what her life is actually going to be like without you. Sucks to be her I guess. Oh you won't accept it that's sad anyway we are getting divorced. Follow and implement the Grey Rock and 180. HTTPS www.medicalnewstoday.com slash articles slash grayrock https healinginfidelity.blogspot.com slash 2014 slash 03 slash the 180 She's freaking out because her safety net is going to be gone. She thought that she could have her cake and eat it too. I.e. have you around for stability while she emotionally cheated and entertained someone else. You've clearly stated that this was a breaking point for you and you're done. Might be worth consulting a lawyer for your country's, state's laws as far as the divorce process. Being married a decade plus there are a lot of things to consider. This includes you leaving your residence for two months. And shared assets. Ignore the empty words and proceed on course. Have you been to a lawyer and served her divorce papers? That's the next move. Remember any words that come from her mouth are lies. She probably had plans with her AP that fell through and she wants her plan B back. It's obvious she will flip. When she put her energy elsewhere. Everything she had was bad. We've been married for a decade and things were going south before she had the emotional affair. Then she did that thinking it's her way out and she thought so. But it didn't work out and now she wants what she had the trusted companion and the comfort. Sad part is it happens a lot. Now. Unless there is a chance to make things honeymoon phase which is the only way and both of you are. In it. This will not work. Especially if there is no turnaround to your state of affairs. Like these folks say. Her say doesn't matter. Be prepared for financial loss. Don't engage in conversation. Just get your attorney and file the papers. I believe there are even apps now where you can discuss the terms. 
and it's all recorded so everything can be submitted with your case. That way they can't make up fake texts or claim you said things you didn't say. My guess is whoever she was having the affair with didn't work out. She explored what she wanted to during those months expecting you to just sit at home and wait her out. Once the reality set in and you actually left things got real. Remember there were problems before the affair so at this point there's just too much to baggage to try and reconcile. You wouldn't be the first mid-twenties marriage to not work out and you won't be the last. Now is the time to look towards the future and just work on yourself and your own goals. Expect to feel sad and lonely at times but know that will pass. Don't allow those feelings to drive you back into a toxic relationship with her. It took my mother years to recover from kicking my father out for the umpteenth time when he decided to not come back. That was 44 years ago. And their relationship was toxic as hell. Fortunately my step-parents were great at advocating for me. Tell her to only contact you through your lawyer and block her everywhere. You might want to get a new phone and number. And start changing everything to that one. Only give it to trusted people. In a few months you can disconnect your old number. So she disengaged from your relationship. Started an affair with someone else and told you that she wanted a divorce. Then she practically forced you to come to terms with the end of your marriage and have you pull. The trigger for said divorce. She's getting everything she wanted. You should tell her to be happy about it and from here on out only communicate via your attorney. She's getting everything she wanted and deserves. Sounds like she got dumped. Lawyer up. Block her on your phone and social media, then hit the gym. I'm guess the person she was having the emotional affair with didn't want to have a physical one with. Her and now she's grabbing for anything because she doesn't want to be alone. Continue with divorce and try and find happiness. Keep YP you are head. Most likely. The other dude did not want anything to do with wife after all and now she has no backup and is. Fighting you to not divorce. She really has no say. The only reason she does is because you are letting her. Block her get a lawyer and file for divorce. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.